In this following tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to put your live 2D models inside of Wadudo. Now, I will say right now, yes, there is a Vignon version of this tutorial if you want to check it out for Vignon. Also, no, Wadudo and Vignon or other 3D programs, they do not natively support live 2D models. You can't shove your live 2D file into the program. Reason why is because, one, licensing issue from live 2D. Two, VTube Studio already exists and it already has all the settings that you need for a live 2D model. And three, because it's not natively in the program. So yeah. So because of that, um, what we're going to be using in order to get uh, our live 2D model into the program is Spout Capture. You can also utilize NDI as well if you really want, especially if you're going to do multiple PC stuff. But we're going to use Spout just to keep things simple for us, basically. And I'll show you how to get started. So. What you're going to be needing, of course, you are going to be needing VTube Studio. And then you're also going to need Wadudo. And again, if you are a Vignon user, I have another tutorial that already exists on how to put a live 2D model in Vignon and how to set it up. So, um, without further ado, pretty much we're going to start off with VTube Studio. And then I'm going to show you how to set up in Wadudo as well as, figure as showing you how to get both 3D and 2D to be tracked at the same time. So... Um, VTube Studio right here. You should have your live team all here, uh, moving around and such. So basically what you're going to do, which is recommended, uh, depending on your setup, make sure that your live 2D model is, you know, depending on the model, uh, have it so that way the model is fully shown from top to bottom. Um, so that's the first thing. Second thing is that you need to make sure to have Spout installed. So the way to do that for VTube Studio is click on the little gear button, click on the camera up here, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, and there should be a Spout to config. Click on the install Spout, but if you already have used Spout before on programs like VC Face or such, or if you already use VTube Studio on OBS with Spout, then you don't have to reinstall this. Uh, you're going to go ahead and click on Activate Spout 2. Um, unless you already did that, then you're pretty much good to go. But otherwise, though, pretty much this is basically what you need in order to basically get started. And then basically what you're going to do is that you're going to double click. Click on the little green button here for images, backgrounds. Uh, scroll all the way down to color picker. Then what you're going to do, um, this is my personal recommendation, but you don't have to. At least what are those um, sort of outline thing kind of smart. But basically, I recommend have the background to be black and then set uh, transparent and capture to be on. Obviously, you can, of course, change the colors if you want for the background if you don't want it to be black. And you should look fine in water do though but um i still recommend sometime for obs sometime it'll act a little weird so yeah but either way do what you want um but pretty much this is recommended if you want the transparency background to look its best basically and once you have that set up uh make sure that you have water do installed and basically what we're going to do which i'm going to go ahead and delete kind of for a moment um so basically in order to get the live 2d mall into water do we're going to utilize water do screen component which is very powerful it can load browsers it can load ndi spout images whatever you want it's really powerful of an asset so you're going to click on the plus button here, then you're going to click on screen, and um, you can, of course, for me, I'm going to quickly move this to another side, just click and drag real quick, um, like this. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll all the way down to content. Select the content type to be spout and then click on the arrow here and click on VTube Studio Spout. And once you have that, your live 2D model should be there. If by any chance you did not move your character originally from the origin, you can actually just click and drag. So scroll all the way, all the way up here for transform and you can adjust click and dragging if the arrow tends to disappear basically. Um, which is really nice of water though to have basically, but yeah. And there you go, you have your live team all in here. But what about the tracking? You want the tracking on both um, both your 2D and 3D model to match. What do you do? Um, so pretty much uh, what you're going to do, which I'm not going to go full in depth on the phone side of things, uh, but um, I should have another tutorial, like a whole um, ultimate guide to iPhone tracking. Uh, you could take a look at if you want which I'll leave in the description, that ultimate guide to the iOS face tracking, as well as, of course, the Vignon alternative. So check the description now for those tutorials. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to click on the little paw at the bottom left. You're going to click on Steam Workshop, and then you're going to go to Download Steam, and you're going to find the 
plugin that says VTube Studio Receiver. Um, eventually, I will be making a VTube Studio tutorial officially for Waterdo when the official version is released. For now, there is a plugin that you can use as a temporary solution to get VTube Studio working on Waterdo. And basically, you know, you'll just have to connect uh, via IP thing. So basically, um, you know, you just like um, like I said, I have another tutorial that explains how to get uh, at least VTube Studio working on, you know, VTuber program, 3D programs, but eventually I'll update that. But basically, though, you, you install it, you set it up on iOS, basically, and then pretty much what you're going to do is... Um, for my case, I have my receiver here, so I'll go ahead and delete mine real quick. So basically, you're going to click on the plus button. You're going to click on VTube Studio Receiver here. Then you're going to type in your IP, which I need to go ahead and type mine out, which I believe it's, um, again, it's a local IP. It keeps changing all the time. So let me quickly go ahead and type in here my number. Ba, 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 ba. There you go. And then pretty much um, select the character to be this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click on create blueprint, uh, which there already is a blueprint for my case, which I'll go ahead and delete that real quick. Delete. But you click on create blue, uh, blueprint, and that should allow you to be able to... Um, have your dream all track. A little editor's note, um, I decided I'm just going to record how to, uh, or at least show you where the buttons are, so hopefully, like, it will make more sense. Again, if you are still, by any chance, lost in any way, please, uh, depending on your issue, you can join both the VTube Studio Discord server and the Waterdo Discord server. If you're having connection issue with VTube Studio to, um, you know, VTube Studio iOS or Android to VTube Studio itself, join the VTube uh, Discord server, um, that way you can report the issue and get it corrected. If by any chance your issue is related to Waterdo not connecting, then please report it to the Waterdo Discord server. Because keep in mind, Waterdo does not specialize in VTube Studio, and VTube Studio does not specialize in Waterdo. They are separate programs, and, you know, just keep that in mind, um to ask in the right place, basically. But either way, though, uh, what you're going to do, double tap on your screen, basically. Make sure you calibrate your camera here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, um, you're going to press on the gear button right here. If you want your 2D model to have the tracking from VTube Studio, buy VTube Studio Pro. Otherwise, if you're only going to use VTube Studio iOS just for the three models, do not pay for Pro. Simple as that. Um, for my case, I bought it so that way both 2D and 3D can track at the same time because, well, 2D, my 2D model needs, uh, you know, VTube Studio basically. So yeah. If by any chance you're wondering about how to get VBridger, I'm um, sorry to say, uh, to my current knowledge, until VTube, uh, VBridger gets VMC support, there is currently no way. There is plans of it, I've heard, but they are taking too long to integrate it. But keep in mind, in the future, hopefully, uh, VBridger will get VMC support. So if you're going to ask about that, just wait till VBridger gets VMC support so you can do it for both. But either way, um, First of all, you're going to set up your Wi-Fi or USB settings, depending on which one you want. Um, so after you set it up, basically, you're going to scroll all the way down to third-party clients, uh, activate it, and then show IP list. Um, this is not doxing information. This can change any time, basically. Um, in fact, I noticed that number just changed last week. But basically, um, where it says IPv4, that's the number you're going to put into Wadudo. So where Wadudo, there's the, um, the VTube Studio IP, you're going to type that number into VTube Studio, or uh, into the VTube Studio IP box thing for Waterdo. That's where you're going to type the number in. For VTube Studio itself, it should automatically connect uh, whether you're... Well, quote-unquote, if it's Wi-Fi, it should automatically connect. For USB, you're going to have to go into your settings and tell VTube Studio that you want it to connect to this phone. Make sure that you have iTunes downloaded as well if you're going to use USB. And make sure that you have your charger connected directly to your... Um, directly to your PC, so that way it can work, basically. Um, but for the most part, uh, as long as you connect it and then you type in the IP here for, you know, Wadudo to take in VTube Studio's 
movement basically that's pretty much in a nutshell how you can do it again if by any chance that still confuses you please join the discord server for either what do or vtube studio depending on what your issue is and you know let you know let the peeps know there uh what your issue is or if you're still confused and you know we can help you out there basically you may have to adjust your settings obviously so please mess around with your settings of course I, again for the time being, um, I don't have an official VTube Studio tutorial as I am currently just waiting for the official release. But of course, you could just mess around with these settings however you like, basically, um, and kind of fine tune it. But overall, though, that's pretty much in a nutshell how you can get your live team all working, um, how to get it working with Wadado. Oh, and one last thing as well. If I, chance, let's say I were to rotate, right? And as you notice, uh, your 2D model is probably looking very flat, especially if you, if you have an environment. How do you have it where the live 2D model is always facing the camera? So what you're going to do is that in the editor, you're going to click on, of course, the screen for your live 2D model, basically. And then you're going to click on, you know, scroll all the way down and click on always face camera as yes. That way, no matter where you're uh, angled, the model will always follow. And the same thing, again, the same thing, you could do the same exact thing on Vignon. Again, I have a Vignon alternative um, tutorial for this, but either way. Um, hopefully this explains on how to set it up. If you have any other questions, please join the Wadudo Discord server um, because there's many add-ons you can download from the server. The developer is there, so if you want to request an official feature and so on and so on, then by all means, please join the Wadudo Discord server and all that. But I hope that this tutorial helps you out, and I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!